What the Worldwide Telescope will do for us is it will enable us to tell the stories of the universe in context. It really gives us this unified perspective on the universe. It allows us to see the relationships between things. What's near, what's far, what's the size and scale of things? How are they related? Wherever you're browsing, you never lose context of where you're at. So as you're zooming in and zooming out, you're always aware of the scale, where you are, and what you're looking at. You can zoom out to the whole sky, practically, and you can see how puny even that so-called giant molecular cloud that's forming stars is compared to the size of our galaxy. You can zoom out again and see how puny our galaxy is compared to distant other galaxies that themselves contain billions of stars. I want to see the whole picture. How does the universe relate to me? Is there something here for me? And then also, when I look up in the sky, where is this stuff? And what is it? And how does it work? And why does it work that way? You can anchor yourself in a particular part of the world through this system, a place you're not even in at the moment. And you can go almost real time in this construct to another part of the universe and find what it seems like from there. It makes it very easy to find all the beautiful Hubble images that they see all over the place, but they don't know where they fit on the sky. It's really easy to be able to find them, zoom into them, see them, and understand, oh, well, this is in this constellation, this is in that constellation. The amount of data you can look at is so unlimited, it just blows your mind. Worldwide Telescope allows us to share the data that we use for research in astronomy. It allows data sets from so many observatories to be served up right under your fingertips. There have been hundreds and hundreds of terabytes of imagery that have been created in the past. What Worldwide Telescope will do is allow all of those images that have been stored away to be viewable by the public. We provide these thumbnails down below that change depending on your field of view. And so as things come into view that look interesting, you could look at a thumbnail and say, wow, what's that? Click on that and it takes you to that object in the sky. Any object or set of objects in the sky can be linked outside the program to other information. And so it's almost like the browser itself is a, a web browser for the sky, where instead of internet content, you have sky content. It's so seamlessly integrates all these different telescope images, not just in visible light, but also across the wavelengths of light that we can't see with our naked eyes. And I think that's huge. It's, um, it's a view of the universe that we haven't technically been able to have before. To be able to really understand the nature of the universe in the entire electromagnetic spectrum is just something that's unavailable in, in, in any other form. The Worldwide Telescope invites us all to be explorers, and that's fabulous. There's nothing like that.